We're sharing a sourdough starter recipe that's quick, it's easy, and it is low maintenance. Ain't no feeding it all the time. You ain't got to keep it going 300 years. This is something you can start today, use tomorrow. So come on, I'll get the crock jar out. Now folks, let's talk about this sourdough. Sourdough has been around longer than cast iron has been here. I'll promise you that. It dates back plumb to the Egyptian time. Now to me, it's no more traditional than it was going down the wagon with old Cookie going down the trail when he was cooking for so many of them cowboys. Now, what did it mean to him? It was his life's blood nearly like coffee because he used it for so many different things. Now, this is not your traditional sourdough starter that you might be thinking of that's been going for 300 years, 100 years, 50 years, or three weeks even. You just set it on the counter. It is never refrigerated. Now, folks, let me tell you about old Cookie's ways and my ways of using sourdough starter. Sure, they ain't changed all that much. I don't have to sleep with mine like he might have had in a bedroll to keep it warm and active because sourdough works best in temperatures above 70 degrees, but he made biscuits with it. He made cornbread with it. He made pie dough with it. He made pancakes with it. All the things we still do today. Now, first of all, you're gonna need a gallon crock jar. Now in that, I just ask you to put four cups of warm water. Then we're gonna add one package of dry yeast. Then we're gonna add five tablespoons of sugar. Sugar and yeast always go together because one is gonna kickstart the other. To that, after you've stirred it really, really well and you see no more yeast particles in there, we're gonna add four cups of all-purpose flour. We want this consistency when we start out to be just a little thinner than pancake batter. Stir it up really well, and then what? We're gonna use a russet potato. Just peel it off all them peelings, cut it in about thirds, dump it in there, stir it up one more time, cover it with a cloth, set it on the counter. About six hours in, stir it again. Cover it back up, the next morning, that thing is gonna be bubbled up closer to the top. You can use this in 12 hours, but preferably I like to let it set about 24 because it's a stouter charge that it gets to go in there and it's gonna give it more of that sourdough taste. On a ranch, I may use this three, four, five, six days, pour it out and start over another batch. That's why I like it because you can start over. But if you're using this in the house and you've went three or four days through there, hey, you're still all right. You can even use it till the potato plum dissolves. You have to stir this every day. Now say you've got our cookbook and it says right off the bat, three cups of sourdough starter. Now folks, when you're dipping that out of there, guess what? That tater wants to go sometime. Don't let him get in the boat. Just leave him in there. It does not go in the bowl that you're gonna mix. You know, the reason I like this so much and old Cookie did too, is this takes the place of milk or buttermilk in any recipe. Sure, the consistency may change there just a little from milk to buttermilk. Both of them are totally different. It's one thin, one thick. Your sourdough starter is gonna be a little different too. So you may have to thin it a little or you may have to thicken it a little, but it works in so many things. It is my go-to when I'm on a ranch as to making sourdough biscuits. The flavor that you get there, you just get sort of that tanginess of that sourdough, but then yet sugar and that sweet mixed in there that is rose in that bread sitting there. Mm melt in your mouth goodness it is but a lot of mornings we start off with sourdough pancakes now i really like it in to make a sourdough pie crust hey cinnamon rolls it does a great job with something that you can pair just a little more sweet with with that sourdough and it will make you a very flaky pie crust but one of my most favorite things i like to do with it is batter meat you can double baptize that stuff in that sourdough starter and get a big old thick crispy crust not only will it work on steak It'll work on wild game, it'll work on fish, it'll work on chicken. You got a hair problem, can't keep your toupee on, you slap some of that under there, put it on, dry it. Hey, hair extensions for life. Now, you know if this was traditional sourdough, you have to feed it constantly, all the time. Now, this in a way gets fed, but it's really a recharge. Now, when you take a certain amount out, which is three cups, we're gonna have to recharge this, and what is it? Cup and a half of warm water cup and a half of flour, tablespoon and a half of sugar. Every time we take at least three cups out. Well, we hope you enjoyed these quick tips, but remember all you new viewers and you old ones, we still have our regular full length cooking videos coming out every Wednesday, 2.30 Central. Hope you enjoyed, God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the sourdough trail.